good morning class so I will demo on how to install the working environment with ASP.NET core by and using VS code first go to Google and search for VS code and it will show you the website here just click the link and download for Windows and if you don't have Windows or something you have like Linux OS just choose the right installer for you and then once that downloaded just install it and then to the we will go to another tab and go search for .NET SDK no not this one here download so we will gonna use the .NET SDK system development kit for creating .NET applications and .NET, uh, .NET runtime for debugging so in .NET SDK click it and it will automatically download and for the .NET runtime for example uh, we will use .NET Core 3.1 so on .NET runtime click download .NET runtime and then you will be given three options console apps run desktop apps and run server apps so for our topic we will gonna use .NET for creating websites web applications so we will gonna download this download hosting bundle and this this installer contains the ASP.NET Core IIS module so that will come in handy like that so we're gonna go to our download in Google Chrome so just press Control plus J and then install this SDK and .NET hosting and then so in my working environment I have already installed VS code so we will gonna go to VS code one okay close this so in VS code go to extensions extensions and search for C sharp and then click this first C sharp and then install it on my device I already installed C sharp extension for VS code something like that and then to check if you if your .NET runtimes and SDKs are installed just run command prompt Windows R to run and type command prompt and then on command prompt type dot net double minus and then list and then dash runtimes to view the runtimes so these are all the runtimes that I've installed so if you you will gonna install 3.1 it will display here 3.1 that is .net core and then like that and for to display the SDKs the same as runtimes just change the runtimes into SDKs like that so you will have the list of your installed SDKs okay so 
you already installed the needed applications and for our working environment in our web programming course